I'm just grabbing a little bit of wet paint to have some dots being painted because I would love to make some hats. This exercise is fantastic because I really believe you can do it, I can do it, everyone can have a little bit of fun with little hearts all you have to do is just sit down and paint with me promise me to try that mm, i love it because it's simple it's doable if you can tell i am just adding different colors and i'm using the cheapest palette from my studio and i would love you to see that it's okay to actually paint with the supplies that you have that they are maybe not necessarily the most uh, professional maybe they're not super expensive maybe they don't have all the qualities of great watercolors but they still paint and you can actually sit down and paint with me and um, there was some bit of a um, water happening but that's okay now I'm gonna just go here and just make sure that I'm gonna mix uh, um, and connect those dots before my actual paint will dry out on me I'm also kind of cleaning the brush a little bit so that my teal is teal my purple is purple my pink is pink but you don't have to do it we will mix it up in a second you will see it you will see it look this is super easy three dots and just connect them in the actual triangle and now it's the fun part that starts I'm gonna just drag it even more and more to make sure that my actual uh, shapes are really mm, not triangles but really hearts now again it's up to yourself if you prefer them to be bigger smaller if you wish them to be a little bit wonky maybe I don't know I didn't clean my brush now I'm just moving from pink to to purple and I love to touch each other each other so they can actually really nicely mix up now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab once more uh, some paint and hopefully join these with other hearts as well I'm gonna maybe grab red one why not I would love my mm, my 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 hearts to be big enough big enough so they can be lovely mix up with each other and I'm mixing different colors as you can tell I'm not focusing on any in particular I'm mixing it all kinds of shades of pinks and purples and blue steels I think they're cute for Valentine's but again this exercise is not really only about Valentine's you can do any shapes you like you can do hearts you can do circles actually we could do circles I guess right next time how is that? I think that could be quite cute. Let's mix this one. Let's have this pretty, pretty heart. And we can mix it up with the purple one. Let's see if we can touch it. Yes, we touched it lovely. And there we go. Now I'm using quite a biggish brush which helps tremendously with moving the pigment quite fast I have to say. Now the bigger uh, surface of uh, working the harder it gets. You have to be a little bit faster to make sure they will actually uh, want to dry on you those dots so I guess that's my little advice to you try to be a little bit faster but even if they dry out that's okay don't worry about it now I really wish for more touchy touchy effect with my heart so what I probably may do is I'm gonna just grab some extra paint like in here for example or even darker and just make sure that I'm there we go I'm gonna have a little bit of going on here and same for here I love that now it's a bit darker but I think that's okay too I'm gonna make this one bigger as well and what I will do is with that blue one I may run and do exactly the same thing here so I may have a little bit of there we go pigment jumping in there now we have that gorgeous tealy color which is here wouldn't that be nice if this would touch the pink one we shall see if it's possible maybe it's a little too far um, we can either make the heart bigger or we can make some other heart next to it I guess I may just grab this one as well and see if I can join it with the blue oh look at it it is gorgeous I love the movement now we have this one as well what I think would be nice is to because there are two pinks how about if we're gonna jump in with maybe maybe 
how about this purpley color and let's just have oh maybe not necessarily actually <laughs> maybe I'm gonna just grab the red one instead and have this one going on here and I feel I feel that I could have a little bit of different shade of teal there we go I like that oh maybe we could add this one here as well I like my hearts to have like um, the kind of chubby body <laughs> I don't know if that's even a word but so that um, the actual roundy elements are chubbier uh, and the whole heart is kind of chubber than longer uh, if that makes any sense to you I'm pretty sure you know what I mean I'm just adding extra pigment now those paints aren't the best in the pigmentation truthfully so uh, I'm you know it's, it's a little bit of a work of love with these but I don't mind completely now I think what could be nice is could be to have this maybe maybe this blue one here mm -hmm. I like that and I think possibly how about this pink well it's like a dark pinkish something something that's okay let's do this let's see if we can have a little bit of a joint jointing point with the other hearts it's actually quite interesting where to place your dots to make sure they're gonna touch with some other but it uh, seems it did this one doesn't do it so what I may do is I may just grab here and just make sure that this one goes together and this one too oh I love it there we go we may do exactly the same thing on the other side so let's do the blue one and let's have a little bit of a play here now I'm trying to be pretty much fastish in the process as you can see because of the I'm gonna do you know what I'm gonna just take a different shade of green here why not haven't used green it's not very romantic color is it <laughs> I don't know <laughs> but sure we can try oh look that could be lovely together let's hope that this will mix up nicely oh, I love that now I think I would love for some um, smaller hearts maybe like this orangey here or something like that and if we can join it now it's harder because I have wet um, hearts on that side so obviously it's harder for me to be in the air with my hand so because I don't want to touch the hearts before they um, and I don't want to dry them in between either before they dry out completely oh that's nice now how about some other colors that we haven't used this one here it's another orangey color but why not to use it I mean the mix could be weird and not nice we shall see but other than that we should be fine oh that's interesting mix isn't it the orange into that there we go we could have this maybe yellowy color as well going on why not let's see the color mix Ooh, goes to the green lovely oh a nice one wow I think that um, orangey and yellowy colors are actually adding a lovely touch gentle touch to to, um, not gentle touch it's adding extra color that it's like speaking volumes if that's that's in English you know that it's like whoo it's there happening you know maybe a little bit darker purple not necessarily this dark but just a little bit more statement like lilac lily lilac purple something something so it's more visible heart oh I love it it's a lot of water that I'm playing with obviously so you can only imagine that no but you know what I want I, I'll skip the actual I love the, the this yellow uh, actually I think it's super beautiful so what I may do is I'm gonna add this Um, I'm gonna skip the green 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 I think it maybe it will be nearly too much of 
pigmentation mix. <laughs> Maybe I'll stick with things that just look good, which is this beautiful, this yellow. Wow, I love it. Oh, wow. Now, don't focus on the shape too much, you know, of your, of your hearts, as in if it's wonkish looking, let it be, you know, let it be. If it's mixing and making a mock color, again, let it be. Um, I think in the whole group of them, they will just look super cute just, just by being together, even if they're wonky looking, you know. I think I may just have that cute pink joined with this one and this one. Oh wow, love it. Oh, so cute. Now I think we need some sort of, I don't know, maybe something, oh I know, in the teal color. Yes, that would be nice. That, that, yeah, that would be nice. So let's have this one. Mm-hmm. And let's have, oh wow love this look at that mix look at that mix the pink super pretty love this now what I made was I may just grab some tissue and get that pigment here a little bit because it's a huge amount of water same for this one it's a huge amount of water I'm gonna move it and that's yeah that's okay now we're nearly there we have bigger smaller hearts mix of all there we go I think I love that green which was here right how about adding this oops I didn't do that I wanted to go with the, directly with the hearts oh I can do that it's okay so let's have this play here a little bit Oh, that's nice. If we could have something coming with it, how about that yellow, yellow touch? And we're gonna have like a tiny heart. No, it's not <laughs> connecting. That's okay. It's not connecting to our green. But it's looking cute, I think, and it's matchy matchy very well. I think I would love. It's not gonna. It's already wet, uh, dry, sorry. So we're not gonna have too much of the pigment moving here. Uh, but that's okay. I still would love to have a little bit of small heart here going on. There we go. I love that actually. Do you know what? How about this tiny heart here? Because we could join it with that purple that it's with and this one how cute there we go oh i love that i think the tiny hearts could be actually super cute so let's do it let's do some tiny hearts going on and that heart will go here with the blue and Possibly we managed, yes, we managed to join this one here as well. There we go. And let's round these a little bit. That's nice. I love that. Now, where is that? I love that color. How about jumping in with it here? And here. And here. Now. Then I'm gonna just grab that, go it around, go it around, and let's see. Oh, lovely! Okay, that's went a little bit too, <laughs> too much happening. Uh, that's okay. That's still pretty. Uh, it's actually very pretty, I have to say. Now I would love a little bit of sprinkle of water in here that's a lovely yellow as well which is this one and I think we could just try to see if we can have a little play 
we can there we go a little play going on that is so cute now oh i love it i'm not sure where to go next maybe some pinks or some reds here maybe like a statement with that um pinkish reddish color right there we go and ah voila and we touched it gently beautifully i love it oh wow i'm gonna do the same here i just love the pinky ready mix mm, but i'm gonna maybe just yeah follow it up with the mix of that pink oh lovely there we go that is so cute i think the Mm, actual yellow I just I just think it made this lovely touch to the page I, I think the yellow made it for me today most definitely I love that look we're gonna mix this gorgeous green with that pink look at it it's so pretty mixing some mixes are just incredible isn't it I think so too I think so too now the orange no but I love being back to yellow blue oh, this one actually let's have this one here again <laughs> I just love that color and as you can tell I'm using um, the cheapest palette I can find in my studio and I think that's so okay to play around and give yourself a chance to actually play because that's the biggest problem we think that we need the super expensive tools to have super pretty effects which in fact you don't as you can tell I hope <laughs> I hope you can tell I love it I love 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 this one now let's see if we can maybe have even more of purples here joined with that pink or not we shall see if possible Mm -hmm. the pink is already dry that's okay but we can still have some kind of play here so I think we could jump in with the yellow yes I think so I think so I think I'm gonna jump in with that yellow here that water is so, <laughs> so dirty that tissue too okay so we have pretty much a heart going on here oh. And if it, I can touch this, oh, look at that. I love it. I'm going to do the same thing here. And just jumping in with that. Now, my my, my pa paper is really, really ralping right now. And you know what? That's okay. Whatever happens and however it's going to mix it up, I'm okay with that. Oh my, I love it. Oh wow, look at that! Oh, super cute. I'm gonna jump in with that yellow again here actually. Today is the yellow saving. <laughs> yellow is making our successful <laughs> final piece here. I think that's like the last touches of that tiny yellow little hearts around everywhere. I think it's so cute. Now it's not easy to have the yellow well not even yellow but in general those tiny hearts going on because um, it's harder to fit them in between that's okay and my paper is wrapping everywhere so the mixes are not really sometimes that I can plan and control that's okay too but I love it now I think we can have a little bit of that pink Ooh, wow that is gorgeous I'm just filling the page right now to be honest you know just to have everywhere my hearts are nearly everywhere now are we able to oh I love that it touched the pink but if I could have a little touch of that blue that would oh look at it oh I love it wow I think we're missing some here and possibly yes I think having a little bit of pink here as well could be lovely so let's have that 
not much will happen because oh unless I move it up Ooh. maybe it will happen actually <laughs> there we go Ooh, there we go it moved into our yellow so do you know what I think I'm gonna go for oops I wanted to do hard straight away oh well uh, <laughs> it's okay I am it's a little too late for for the dots I forgot we're doing dots technique because I'm so now used to making hearts that I'm comfortable with with it mm. I think I'm I'm not super a fan of this little bit here on that bit between the green now the teal and this has a lot way too much water as well and this one that's okay oh wow now one second what's that color actually do you know what oh there we go maybe it's gonna be so much nicer if I just fix it up a little bit that mocky mix oh I think that's so much nicer right now oh, I love it I so love that now last but not least some more fillers of our page with the pink maybe Although I planned the yellow, didn't I? <laughs> I hope you will try it. It's one of the most therapeutic exercises. My first exercise on this channel like this kind. And I hope for many more. Let me know if you would like us to be back. I don't know, maybe with circles next? Will we do that? Would you like me to come back with simple exercise of this kind where we just play with the brush and play and just go for it if you would like that i'm gonna just get rid of that tiny bit mucky too much water oh i love that mix here now do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just have a little bit of that tape removed so i can finish off my hearts because i think i'm missing the little beaks <laughs> of my hearts on my hearts same for here I can even fix it up some colors right because I'm not cleaning the brush off oh I love it it's so cute I'm missing something here so let's finish off oh that purple seems to be nice because we don't have any any purples that much here well a bit but not not too much so that's that let's clean it off some water and voila, our heart is, <gasps> I thought so, I thought so that it's going to be a big, big fall. That's cute actually. And I think we can fill it up with that yellow tiny heart. There we go. So the heart is nearly there. So my only thing is to just make it a little bit oh the touch how I'm gonna make this I don't know oh there we go I was thinking that it's oh I love this now I think I feel that it could be maybe nice to have there we go a little bit of darker here happening because I just feel it was not visible enough not yellow enough yeah, and it was just not matching. That yellow was not matching the rest of the project. Not that it matters, but I guess in a way it does. In a way it doesn't completely, in a way it does. Let's have a little heart here. We're nearly finishing, sadly, because I think this is super fun. Um, I will repeat that. I think I would love to play again. I like that. I really enjoyed this I think it's what's what's beautiful about this exercise is that you really feel you can make something pretty without being so technical and so you know you can just be here and really make something cute looking and you don't need skills I think that's the that's probably the biggest advantage of this uh, sort of exercise you really can't do it without worrying of the final effect because the project is coming together nicely just by itself now let me know in the comments guys if you would like more exercise of this kind if you will actually paint with me those hearts please do try it out you can dry it all and have a little title doodle around 
I think I would love to add some gold accents. That could be nice. I think we may be having a little hard there. So it's going to be like this really finishing touch of on the page. There we go. Well, then I think to really... Oh, I love it to fill it all up. We need something here. And I think, why do I think that yellow will just work beautifully and just right? I don't know. <laughs> it just feels right. I love that yellow. It's this dir dirty, kind of not so much yellow, but I just think it's so pretty. And it complements everything. Look at the mixture with that greeny. Oh, I love that this wow I'm gonna jump in here and hopefully some yellow and pink will mix it up here if not I will most definitely just grab some pink and help it out there we go why not you can help it out don't tell anyone <laughs> I'm thinking two things a little bit of outlining now you have to be careful because these paints are um, very chalky actually so you may clog your pens so be careful about that I think doing a little bit of doodle uh, will just make this whole project um, really standing out each in individual heart and together as a whole as well I think it will look cute and I think I would love to add some screen paints to the mix because it will I don't want to highlight all the hearts but I think it could be nice to have a little bit of uh, shine and shimmer I think maybe gold maybe silver to have like in few places only not everywhere actually quite opposite just to have like a little statement of it we shall see maybe I'm gonna decide when everything is um, uh, highlighted, outlined that no, we're gonna skip the gold part. We shall see. For now, I love the idea of doing this outlining right now. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's making the hearts more heart as well, heart looking. Um, it's kind of standing boundaries. Now, again, it's very individual. Some people don't like outlining. I love outlining. I think it is really helping out. I love it. I think I outline 95% of my projects when it comes to watercolors, but that's just probably because it's my personal choice as well you know everyone is really different and what works for me doesn't have to for you but I hope I encourage you to actually grab the paints you don't have to doodle just grab the paints and just paint with me these paints that I have been using for the hearts they are kids friendly they're you know uh, one of my favorite palettes actually I love using them for some time I forgot about them but I'm back because I think they're so cute, you know. Look, the outlining as well. I think, look at, oh, actually it's so interesting to see. Half outlined, half not. Which one do you prefer? I think I'm going to stand for ha um, outlined part. But tell me your opinion. Is it outlining that you prefer or not so much? I'm going to clean it this because, yeah. Uh, I'm standing for the outlining indeed. Now, some of the hearts are on top of each other. So sometimes I'm crossing on top. Sometimes I don't. Again, it's just how it feels right for each individual heart, basically. I think we did a great job today. I really love that. I think we'll be doing um, circles next. What do you say? I really love that. So instead of going, because I would love to do it again, but maybe instead of going for the hearts again, how about I'm going to record video number two for our exercise number two and do some ha um, some circles, some round shapes, which could be there, or some ovals, maybe, or some lines. But I think I love the idea of paints being mix it up like that. I think it's just beautiful. I love it. We're nearly there. Most of the hearts are outlined, looking gorgeousness. Wow, we now there we go. Nearly look, I'm really not precise with my doodles as you can tell. I have kind of mastered of being really 
doodle uh, doodly 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 around unprofessional doodle as in like I don't really pay attention or I try not to or maybe that's the better way to put it I try not to pay attention at all because the more you try to be precise in my eyes that's my opinion the more stressful you become and because you aim for professional you just kind of yeah you may just not end up with anything you love um, so be very careful about that I'll show you something I painted this uh, yesterday it's on my Instagram probably probably it's here on YouTube as well it's a short version but speaking of professionalism how many actual rainbows I painted before this one I liked and posted and published and show it to the world let's see how many how many trials one <laughs> two hmm three hmm four five that was trial but then another hmm. six seven eight nine and this was the first trial that I regret I never recorded it because but you know I try sometimes just the color mix just the the idea of its own and you know so speaking of professional you can tell some things from me they seems to be that they have to be super mastered like that rainbow I felt that the rainbow has to be a little rainbowish but you know what at the end I was so tired of the whole process of making my rainbow so super perfect lined it was just um, difficult you know uh, to to get rid of that feel that it has to be just right so be careful there guys be careful you know sometimes it's just better to let go of that perfections and enjoy the process because you may never paint you may never doodle you may never do stuff just because you're looking at it in the wrong from the wrong perspective you're trying this to be perfect instead of being creative how about that gold how about that gold actually because uh, we have this yellow that i loved and it kind of turned quite dark isn't it so how about making some i don't know maybe some little dots of gold in places just again Marta try not to be too precise about where you place the dots and stuff uh, yeah how is that um, maybe I'm gonna try to have a much tinier brush um, just to make maybe like a cute lines oh I love that Okay, that brush doesn't hold much pigment because it's so tiny, but that's okay. We can always redo it. Relax, Marta, because I feel I'm a little nervous because of being so... Whoa, <laughs> that's my belly, <laughs> if you heard it. I feel that I'm a little bit nervous because I, I'm i so trying to make the, the them perfect. Like, look, one second. Oh, I love that. Let's see if we can have maybe I don't know how about we're gonna have a little bit of mm, I'm just trying to think if I would like to have a little bit of heart like this oh that's so cute so it's like only adding really things in few places just to just to have like a little say mm, maybe here how about little little um, stars? Oh, I also feel that it could be so nice if we could have splashes of that. Imagine, maybe that could be nice. Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. One second, maybe tiny dots. I don't know if the camera is able to pick this gold. Oh wow, look at it. I hope it does picking up that shine of gold. Mm -hmm. So tiny dots this time with the tiny brush. And I'm going to try not to be too 
exactly to precise to to everything <laughs> to everything what's next how about I'm gonna do like tiny hearts in our heart that could be nice right that's actually so cute idea such a cute idea I love that so so it's like little triangles the same as we've done just um, I guess just a little bit more uh, heart look heart looking that's kind of too big nearly that's okay I probably want too much with the that's okay we can have one more bigger one for the matchy matchy feel of that mm -hmm. and more I like actually the the triangle feel of the hearts so maybe we can stick with that Marta and not to worry that this heart kind of came up a bit bigger that's okay again don't get rid of your project just because it's not the way as it could feel or you envisioned it to feel it's okay it is what it is and just enjoy the process of making this happy making you happy okay so we have that um, what else we could do we could have a little touch of oh I love that so instead of having the gold designs everywhere we could have just a little you know a little yeah oh I know what I'm gonna do I may just have a little heart inside of a heart and I think that's nice and that could be done with a little bigger brush as well bigger surface bigger brush oh, I love this idea I'm gonna do it again I think it's lovely uh, most definitely imagine this one the gold in the gold I mean the gold in the yellow which this yellow it's kind of goldish as well right how about doing it again in the gold actually we could do that in the gold only next time that would be nice instead of going everywhere just stick with the gold on the gold <gasps> love this idea gold on the gold oh why didn't I think of that earlier so to just have that gold but that's okay next time you'll know you'll know next time look all of these have a little heart all the golds Oh, I love it. I love, 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 love it so much. Now, time to embellish something else that it's not gold. Um, maybe, actually, we could have... I know what we could have. We could have a little bit of gold here. That's a big statement, right? There we go. So, it's like we have elements here and there, here and there. How about some dots here as well? There we go, not so roundy and not so, you know, just kind of random really. Now, I'm not trying to fill in all the spots, I mean, all the places. Just few. Oh, I love it. Okay, I think it's time to have this touch on the side. In all of them? Why not? I really love this one guys I'm gonna show you in a second when we done 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 this gold is heaven I'm gonna show you the or oh, maybe here the final touch of gold when I lift the page and you'll see the shine if we have it everywhere one second Oh, there's loads of hearts, guys. <laughs> Not that easy to have it everywhere. Jim, 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 Jim. I think I did it all. I think I did it all. Oh, no. <laughs> there's one more. Surprise, surprise. Okay. If I missed any, that's okay, right? Now, I think we can call this one done. Wow. I love it. I so love it. 
my beautiful friends I hope you liked it as well let me know your thoughts I think this actually cat looks cute it's like the center of attention for the whole page let me know your thoughts I hope you will like and try this exercise um, because it's so cute fun you can use whatever paints you own you can do glitter if you don't have metallic paint you can have um, maybe just no shine at all just the doodles left I feel that we could have this one uh, there we go <laughs> there we go uh, you can do whatever you like I hope you know that I hope you know you can create however it feels right for you I'm gonna finish on that note wishing you a wonderful uh, watercoloring time uh, exercise number one done and I'm sure we can do something else very soon I'll chat to you soon happy painting Bye for now. Bye bye.